Darth Zenu. Hey Chris, again I show my gratitude for your loyal and obedient service. <laughs> Next, I would like you to discuss the power of conspiracy theory and mind control. Tell us exactly what conspiracy theories we would have to believe to really bite hook, line, and sinker. Thanks again. Well, dealing with Scientology as an example uh, specifically, conspiracy theory is very strong in Scientology, and the the conspiracy theories you'd have to buy into um, first to, to buy into Scientology would be Hubbard's conspiracy theories, and he had many of them uh, all around the idea that there were twelve men who ruled the world through the international banking system, and they controlled the media and they used psychiatry as their strong arm to control the minds of people who, uh, dissidents who, you know, anybody who tried to speak out against them, they would, you know, hook them up with a psychiatrist and either get them a lobotomy or get their wife hooked on uh, psychiatric medications and thereby, thereby control them that way. And he had this whole array of, of, uh, of, of ideas that, the, that these 12 men through the banking system and through the media and whatnot were, were controlling the world and that they were controlling it in the interests of enslaving mankind. So if you, and he, and he promoted this. There's a, there's a lecture, Ron's Journal 67, which he gave in 1967, where he, he reveals all this and says that this was, uh, this was this grand conspiracy that Scientology was running right smack into and that Scientology's, that the power of Scientology was what could undo all of this and therefore that's why all of the attacks on Scientology, this was this grand plan, this, 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 this huge plan for world domination that Scientology was cutting right across. And so he explained all of this, and, and for years afterwards, Hubbard would talk about uh, Smirsch and, um, and the, the scientists were under the, you know, the, were pawns to this, you know, conspiracy. And basically, Sea Org recruiters and, and people in Scientology will take this information and they'll, and they'll mold and, and, you know, use it to explain anything. You know, the whole Operation Snow White, um, the Snow White program that went down in the 70s, in the Scientology world, that whole thing was morphed into a government conspiracy to take down Scientology. And you'll hear to this day, you can find conspiracy theories about uh, how the how Scientology was taken over internally by the CIA and how David Miscavige is just a CIA plant. And they are secretly uh, have usurped power over Scientology and are running it into the ground because they know that it will undo their evil, nefarious plans. So, so this can go as far as you want it to go, just like any conspiracy theory. And that's why I, 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 I really don't like conspiracy theories because they take the complexity of real-world events and try to reduce them down to a single cause when no real-world events have a single cause. There are all kinds of things going on in the world and all kinds of consequences and unintended consequences and ramifications of things, and, uh, and that's the real world. And when you try to explain the real world in a kindergarten simplistic manner, which most of these conspiracy theorists, are, that's what they're trying to do, it just ends up being ridiculous, and I don't go for that.